Hey guys, my name is Jafar Sol, and welcome back, and our guest is here today again. And you can start now. Let's get this party started. I'm ready to blow some people up. Yeah, so uh, we had, I actually grinded like five levels off screen. Only five? Only five. We're level 18. That's like way too high. That's like the voting age. He hopes the king is okay. Thanks, Donald. You're very thoughtful. He is the court wizard. Courts need a wizard? He's the court wizard. Yeah. I didn't know courts had wizards. I don't know what court wizard means either, actually. I don't, I know that I don't Goofy's the head of the Royal Guard, but that's the only that's the one job I I I can like, decipher it besides King of course. So I basically just don't know what a court wizard is. I think wizards uh, are magicians. Yeah, I hope so. And they uh, they work with Harry Potter. They're British magicians. Oh, I never actually watched Harry Potter. <laughs> Me neither. I wouldn't know if they're British. That's how much I don't know about it. You don't know Harry Potter? I know who Harry Potter. I don't. I didn't. I, I didn't realize he was like. I'm pretty sure I heard his accent at one point, but I'm not sure like how much of the cast is British. Only like 77 percent of them. Oh my gosh! She just went blonde for half a second. Oh, there it goes again. Dude, she's a magician. She can change her hair like at will. Oh, maybe you were just hallucinating. That's... I think that's correct, actually. Uh, so we're going to Halloween Town, right? It's not October yet. But didn't you want to see Jack Skellington? I don't know. Did you want to see Jack Skellington? You said that last episode, that you wanted to see Jack Skellington. I did? Ghost dudes who have goggle heads and look like Jack Skellington if you didn't have legs. We could have went to Halloween Town, you know. Was Jack Skellington there? Yes! Would, uh, I bet you wouldn't be seeing a whole bunch of these guys. Here. Well, let's pay them a visit anyways. Can we make it all Christmassy? I want to fast forward to December. Unfortunately, it's just gonna look like Halloween. Aww, but we're two months early. Yeah, yeah but to be fair, we're four months earlier than Christmas. Ah, it's Skinny Sands! <laughs> I forgot you actually knew who Sans was. Who's again, Sans? You... So you don't know who Sans is? Is it this guy, but fatter? And shorter. Ah, see? I do know. Time to fight. Oh, Jack Skellington's actually attacking us? I thought he was a bro! I was about to mention that. Turns out he's a no. You know what? He's, he's a guy you say no to. Good talk. You just burned one of his flowers that grows in the dark. So, what's Jack doing here again? This is Halloween Town. This is where he lives. Yes, but why are all these black demon ants showing up in Halloween Town? Uh, I think I think that's the that's the point of why we're we're following Jack because we're trying to figure out why they're here. Ah, we have to just learn the terror skill. What does that do? Does it make you run around in fear? I forgot. I can look it up. Um, oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, I don't think that that pun actually works because it's the same word basically. No, the first one's terrible. This one's terrible. Yeah, but it's the same root word, isn't it? What's the root word? Like tear? Like tearing a paper? I don't know. Oops, I'm not the wrong. That's not the right skill. Uh, uh oh, oh no. Uh, that's gonna be difficult to pull. Out. Any summon card, any summon card, Jack. Well, let's try it out. What does that do? Tear. We have two symbols terror? lined up. So we have two symbols lined up, so we can try it. 
We do not condone terrorism, but for some reason, it's effective against these guys. I don't even know what terror does, to be honest. I just need to get my symbols out, though. So you can use Fusroda? Oh gosh, there's like a flying bat thing. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to use terror. Rain havoc on them. Who's uh, okay. uh, Let's let's see what terror does. Oh oh god, you used negative. And now these ghost things are eating their brains. That was not that helpful, actually. I, I, I think I think two. Oh, Moogle room. I, 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 I still feel like two symbols by themselves and then Jack is more useful than that. It just makes them run away in fear. I know, but that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but it's not as useful. Jack can, can use, like, extremely powerful magic. Like, making people run away in fear, right? Yeah, but that's with the power of Fusroda. Oh, yeah, see, so even better. But that means we don't see the Fusroda. Aww. Why don't we just use both? If only. I'll show off Jack when we get, uh, speak of the, speak of the Scouts himself. Jack Skellington! Hiya! That's, that's, oh, he only used one spell. Well, what just happened? Did he just throw, like, an electric darkness orb at somebody? That is gravity, or Gravira, I'm not sure which one. It just stuns someone. Aw, oh, see, the scaring people away forever was a much better spell. I mean, I mean, to be fair, gravity is a lot better than fear. Why? Because gravity stuns them, fear just makes them run away. Isn't that even better? No, because then they're harder to hit. Just just chase them. <laughs> yeah, but if you stun them, you don't have to chase them. It's a, it's a psychological effect. You gotta get in their heads. If I can find another jack right in this battle, I wanna see if there's a triple jack. Surprise, okay. There's two. Surprise! <laughs> I think he, I think he just uses two spells, or he just powers up his spell. I don't know. There's something. You know what my favorite Jack is? Jack in the Box? No, but that's good. I don't. Too. I don't really like Jack in the Box. I actually don't go to Jack in the Boxes very often. I hear ya. Let's let's go to a Jack in the Box someday. I heard they're actually quite good. Um, I tried it a few times, it's not that good. It's not to my liking. Speaking of, uh, sandwiches, have you tried the new Popeye's chicken sandwich? Is it, is it, is it all over, like, the internet? Yes, it is all over the internet. I tried getting it today, but I went to two different locations, and it wasn't there. They sold out. It's, it's so hard to get, man. Is it that? Wait, have I even tried Popeye's? <laughs> it's harder to get than some people. What? Oh, Gift of Miracle. What's Gift of Miracle? Wait, why does it sound familiar? Gifted Miracle. Reload cards and reset the counter while restoring- Ooh. Wait, what? To friends and foes alike. So any summon like card, a... any magic card, and jack. Okay. It resets everything. So, M any summon card, any magic card. Okay, uh, actually, I can, I, can, I can optimize it, since I know my, what the order of my cards are. Room Synthesis. Is that what it said? Yeah. What? No, I was paying attention. High Potion! The potion didn't say hi back. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Very rude of it. Potions don't talk back. Boards don't hit back. I'll use Blizzaga, but then I'm gonna go Blizzaga. straight to. Blizzaga! Let's see, what is it? A summon card, a magic card, and a. Get to Miracle! Whoa! Hey, you made it snow, but it's still not Christmas Town. Oh, it heals every. It restores your reload counter and restores uh, something else. But it also re recovers all enemies and yourself. Well, that's very kind of you. <laughs> CP. CP! Oh yeah! So now you have more combat power. This is enough. This is enough. Yes. 
We can have uh, three Simbas. You just hit a lantern guy's head. That is what we call a red nocturne. But I see what you mean. They do look like a lantern guy. You call it a red lantern. You see, I feel like the enemies in this game are more fitting to be found in Halloween Town because they're actually like ghouls and, and monsters and stuff. I mean, I. I I I I'm, I I can I can see that they they are called they are called heartless after all. Like how do you know you're not hitting residents of Halloween Town? <laughs> because Jack doesn't know where they came from. Oh. No one. I don't think anyone knows where they came from. What if they're just undocumented residents? <laughs> I'm not sure. What happens with undocumented residents? Like, like, what if they just, they're in Halloween Town, but they haven't registered themselves? Like tourists? Yeah, something like that. Or like immigrants. Or like that visitors. Attack every, that attack every citizen? That makes sense. Well, maybe they're just attacking you. Granted, you actually are smacking them first. <laughs> Am I though? Am I really? Yeah, you just smacked a lantern on its head. I'm gonna make a muggle room right here. I need, I need more magic cards. You have a surplus of magic and a deficit of traps. There are no collectible stuff here. I also get free uh, attack cards. Oh, we got two premiums. Whoa, what are those? Okay, the only one that's good here is Pumpkinhead. What do those do? What? Those cool looking keys. I used them to attack. I've been using this entire game. Oh, but the special looking ones. Oh, uh, they, uh, they're, they're cheaper than normal ones. And, and they're the same, uh, CP for the, for the entire, for all the numbers. Interesting. Oh, Dumbo, nice. That's a pretty good Dumbo. And those are, wow, that's two, that's two premium level one. Cool, uh, we got Dumbo for once. A good Dumbo for once. He sure wasn't a dumb Dumbo. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how much? Thirty. I think we can. I think we can work with that. We don't need one of these Fusradas. What? Fusradas the best one. I think two symbol, two Fusradas is the same power as three Fusradas. What? No. <laughs> I mean, in this universe. That's mathematically incorrect. <laughs> well, you see, Justin. <laughs> More Fusradas are always better than less. Wow. You know, if I could have a power from a video game in, like, real life, Maybe I think the top of my list would either be a Shoryuken, a Sonic Boom, or Hadouken, Sonic or, Boom from where? or Fusroda. Or Street Fighter. Oh, you, you're really a big Street Fighter fan, huh? Yeah, Street Fighter was like my my first of the, so of the three games game? I played in the So beginning. you said video game move. I love right? Fusrada. You're talking about vi so, so you said video game moves, right? Yeah. I think my go-to video game move would be the all-out attack. 30. You don't know where that's from, do you? No. Persona 5. Trust me, you wouldn't get it. I, I know you don't- I don't know you don't- I know you don't know that much about Persona 5. You okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry, somebody was saying something to me. I mean, I haven't played Persona 5, I've just seen some stuff about it. To be fair, I haven't played it either. Still don't have the Joker DLC. Persona 5 is a mature game. Mature games for mature people. I'm one year younger than the age range. It's also on PlayStation, so I can't really play it. So, there's that. 
Persona 5 is probably the my favorite game that I haven't played. How do you like... How do you know it's your favorite game? Have you seen people play it? Uh, out of 130... There's 139 video playlists on someone's channel as an LP. I'm on episode 106. Okay. I'm still... I'm still working on it, and I, I know like like a lot of the stuff in Persona 5. Otherwise, I, wouldn't, I, would, I mean, I wouldn't be much of a fan of, it, fan of it if I didn't know that much about it, right? Like, what about Persona in general? Oh, uh, I don't. Well, first of all, some pe some Persona fans don't even know that one and two exist. For some reason. But, but there's five of them, so there should be one, yeah. two, three, four, and five. I, I don't right? know. It's it's weird. People people just just don't remember it. But like it's it's assumed to exist. Like if you have a movie that's called Blank Movie Number Three, you should have Blank Movie Number One and Blank Movie Number Two. True. I'm just gonna bash these pumpkins. You are uh, the Smashing Pumpkins. You're a rock band. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Nope, Simba. Ice Today fire. Today is the nope. greatest day. Right it's playing a uh, remix of This Is Halloween. That was a funny song. It, it, it's it's very funny in Just Dance Three. I'll say that. <laughs> I had that cue. Yes, I am. I still have it. <laughs> Let's dance. Mm. It's, it's kind of cringy nowadays. It's not cringy if you're good at dancing. Hey, it's the patchwork lady. Well, I'm not Sally. good at dancing. Wait, wait, wait. Is the boss right now, or is it? No, no, no. It's later. Like, oh, wait. If it's right now, then. Are you gonna fight uh, the boogeyman? Uh, ugly boogie. Yes. The boogeyman, Oogie Boogie, was. Oh no! Really... Oh, oh there wait, he is. wait, 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 wait! It's not, it's not right now. He really had some right, style. It's not, it's, not right. it's not right now. Is it right now? You know, if it's right, if it's, I don't have the right deck. I realized that the boogeyman actually looks like a giant booger. The boogeyman? Really? Yeah, like he, he actually looks like a big booger. If you look I don't. At his shape. I kind of don't want to look it up. No, no. I mean, look at Oogie Boogie. He looks like a booger. Oh yeah, I, I see that. Is that uh, why he's the boogeyman? He's not the boogeyman. Yeah, he is. He's Oogie Boogie. He's Oogie Boogie the boogeyman. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, if I saw a giant dancing booger with a demonic face, I'd probably be scared too. To be fair, is there anyone who wouldn't be scared by that? I don't know. I'm gonna go make a save point. Maybe I'll get some treasure first. You should save your treasures in an investing account. Oh, I got an Arsimba. Nice. Yes, more Fusro Das. Wait, is this one? Is this one the Moogle room? No, that's the treasure room. So I don't understand. You get to choose what you find in the room? Yes, that is the point of the game. But like, how many times can you find a different room in this world? I mean, they're usually, they're usually random. So you only get like a certain number of rooms you can create? Or can you sure. go back in the same room, use a different card, create a different room? I don't know. I wasn't listening that well. Could you say that again? Like, if you go out of this room, do you have to create another room? I can go back in the room. So how many different rooms get do you get to create? I mean, I mean, it depends on it depends on how much you want to make. Uh, like, what's the maximum number you can make? Like, repeatedly, in the same room, or... Yeah, sure. Or in, in these different, like, 
rooms. Oh yeah, like in the, how many can you make in this world? Depends on the world. Okay, this world. Like at the same time or? Yeah, sure. I mean, you just count how many boxes there are on screen. So the except, boxes except, tell you the maximum? Except the crowns. The crowns are the bosses. Okay. So you can make a maximum of nine rooms? Uh, sounds about right, yeah. Interesting. Save time, and we're gonna go straight into... Actually, I'm gonna make my deck first. Make sure we're, you have we're... Exodia equipped. We're running out of time, actually. I thought you just saved some time. Ooh, 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 equip Dumbo! I'm not using any magic cards. Dumbo's... Well, he is a magic flying <laughs> elephant. Oh, oh, use the giant furnace! I want to see what it does. This one? Yeah. So, you have as many cards as you want? CP, man. I mentioned this before. What about CP? CP determines how, many, how, how much of each card you can have. Oh, how many of each card can you have right now? Depends on what kind of card. Uh, the best card. Well, apparently in, in this deck, since I'm prioritizing attack cards, I can have 18 attack cards, 3 magic cards, 2 item cards, and 2 heartless cards. Interesting. Aren't all cards heartless? They're not alive. I mean, I mean, to be honest, it, it depends on what you call them. I just call them heartless cards. Hmm. Get ready- oh, that's the, that's the wrong room. Oops. <laughs> I was overhyping everything for nothing. What were you hyping? Absolutely nothing, I guess. Ooh, Moogle! Where? The points. The, I need the Moogle points. Oh, I thought you were talking about actual Moogle. Oh, uh, Moogle Koopo? points. <laughs> Moogle's right there. Koopo! Hiya, Koopo! Why do they always say Koopo? I don't know. Okay, good. I got some good Fus Radaz. Fus Roda! That game is so fun, man. I should. I want to try Skyrim out at some point because I want to yell somebody off a cliff. Okay, ready for the boss battle? We're already on the boss battle. Is it? Is it the boogeyman? Yeah. Oogie. Oh yeah. Oh no. Sora just said, "Oh no." Right after you, right after you said, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah. I someday want to make my voice as deep as the Kool-Aid man's. It's just so epic. What's what's going on with Oogie Boogie? Alright, I'm gonna explain the gimmick of this fight as soon as I remember what it is. It, it looks like he's on treadmills. Uh, that's him walking. Is he exercising? Alright. Oh boy. In order to win in this fight, you must have a higher card that exceeds Oogie's. When you have a higher card that exceeds Oogie's, you will break his card, obviously. But you also... Open the gates, and then you'll be free to attack him. Open the eight gates! Save the ninja village! Oh, uh, if it, uh, I, just used, I just used the furnace, by the way. Wait, I didn't see the furnace? Where'd it go? The furnace let me break into every any single card he throws out. Aha! Uh -huh, see? I knew it was good. This is oh. literally the easiest fight, to be honest. Why does dice keep raining from the sky? I, I don't know. I think they're just trying to hurt you, but they don't really hurt you that much. He's a gambling man. Ah, oh, yeah! Smash the booger! Oh god, you're, you're hitting a booger with your key. 
Let's see, let's get Jack to help us. Jack Except poke. He didn't help that much. Jack, well, you're he, useless. He gave Boogie a stern talking to. <laughs> this is this is the this is the most boring fight and also the most easiest. Hey, I wish I could hear your music because I'm dancing just like Oogie right now, man. Like he's feeling it, even though he's getting smacked. I respect that. I'm a dance too. Why is he not doing anything? Because he's probably jamming out some music, isn't he? Everybody loves dancing, man. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Oh yeah. See, he's just trying to have a good time. He's like the embodiment of what most of us want to be. Just a guy chilling, dancing, getting life smacked, and still going, you know? What a good metaphor. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. Please consider liking and subscribing. I feel like it's better to say it in the middle of the video. In the middle? Oh, I beat him. Aw, oh, he was having so much fun. You smashed him just like that like button. Smash that like button. And please comment for that sweet, sweet YouTube algorithm. Oh yeah, comment for the algorithm. Comment, make Justin happy. And then I will like your comment because you indeed made me happy. But aren't you, aren't you just randomly just like roaming around just liking random comments? Maybe. It's not like I'm gonna be the one commenting make Justin happy and liking my own comment. <laughs> Yeah. I know, if anybody's watching this video, I bet they're gonna scroll down right now, check to make sure that I said that, and be like... You better, you, you better, <laughs> you better comment it fast, then, because this video's gonna come out on Tuesday. I am the only guy who has your notification bell on, man. Unless I'm not, but if I am... I know people have, some first. people, some people have notifications, but they don't comment. I'm gonna smack first on the keyboard, man. Please don't smack first. I'm gonna be the first one here. <laughs> uh, we're actually done with the with the app with the world already. What? It was just Oogie Boogie. Yeah. Yeah. You could have made the dance a little bit longer. Uh, do you think you'll have time for another episode? Time is of the essence. If I don't so have like time, I make time. I mean, that's not what, that's not, that's literally not what you said last time. Because last time I didn't make my time. <laughs> probably because it was 11 p.m. at that point. I could probably record one more, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, hey, it's Blondie again. We'll probably be able to do half an episode. Half a, half a world. Unless we go Alice in Wonderland, then we can do it really, really fast. Should we go Alice in Wonderland? It's, it's going to be really fast. I sure do like Fantasyland. They got a lot of good rides there. I mean, Ag I mean, we could do Agrabah, but Agrabah has a really long boss fight. Agrabah. Oh, we should save that for the super duper finale. I mean, Agrabah isn't the last word. World. There are more worlds than the ones we have now. There's only, uh... One world for all of this. Okay, we're done with the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. And Smash the like button! button. <laughs> Comment! I'm there! Please like! <laughs> Please. For this sweet, for that sweet, sweet YouTube algorithm. I just want to say that because I think it's true, actually. It's just for a YouTube algorithm. I don't know why YouTube prefers those with a lot of likes and views and comments. I don't know why. Is that... Is, uh, I, I mean, that's pro- I don't know. I, I don't want to, like... You know, I'm, I'm just gonna stop there. Alright, uh, do you have any last- Do you have any last remarks? Uh, it's free real estate. Fair enough. I have... <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys, and stay safe.